Well, good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Tammy Faye, your brand ambassador here. I'm just super excited that you have joined the Tava Nation. Listen, I'm getting ready to share with you real quick. How do you get started? Listen, this is exactly how you get started. Once you have joined, I'm going to take you step by step on how you get started and how you launch your business. So the first thing that you want to do when you join the company, you actually got an email, right? So what I need for you to do is go to that email. If you didn't write the information down, you got a five digit code. You need to get that five digit code and your website, your personal website. So now what you're going to do, you're going to actually go to your website. And once you get there, you're going to see your name pop up and your name has popped up now, right? You see your personalized name on the website. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click log in. Yes. Once you log in, you're going to take that five digit code that you got and you're going to put it where it says username. Once you do that, then that password that you created, you're going to enter your password. Once you enter your password, voila, three boxes might come up or your website is going to come up. Once your website comes up, woo, you're in. This is your state of the art free website. Now, was it that easy? So you can maneuver around, look around and see all the exciting information that's back there in your back office. Now, the second step, what you want to do, you want to make sure that you set up SmartShip. Why do you want to set up SmartShip? Because SmartShip keeps you active in the business. And guess what? You get to choose which product that you want to put on smart shit. And this will keep you act, act, act active for the next 30 days, right? So then the next thing you want to set your goals. You want to, you know, kind of make a list of the goals that you want. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Like you already know that this is a direct sales company. So you want to have some other goals that you want to set. Like, do you want to start a new business? Do you want to pay off your car? Do you want to just have extra money for your mortgage? Or do you want to move? What are your goals? What are you trying to aim for in this business, right? So once you get your goal list set, to put that to the side right now the next thing you want to do after you set your goal list you want to create a list yes you have to create a list now this list may be you know someone that does your hair you know it's going to be people that you know this is your warm market you know you always supporting everyone you know people that you know that you go and you visit and you are supporting them in their business rather it's a boutique if you shop you know, your barber, you know, your nail tech, you know, just different individuals that you have purchased or did something or supported them along the way. You're going to make a list of 25 people, you know, that you, you know, personally know. You're going to make a list of that. You're going to actually write the list down. Then you're going to make a list of 25 people that you think that might be interested in your brand new business and that's excited to try some of these products like you were, right? You're going to write that list down. You're going to go through your phone. You know, it sounds easy that you can just test text, but you want to get you a notebook. You want to get a notebook and you actually want to write down the names. Now, another 25 people is people that are in this type of industry. You want to write those names down because so many people are looking for something new. So you can reach out to them and tell them about this business. So now we got your list. You know, you got your 25 people that might be interested in buying products with you. Some 25 people that you think that would be interested in joining with you. And then you have your people that, you know, that have been in this industry before. Right. So you want to just write all of that stuff down and make sure that you take some time now that you have wrote their names down. And now what you want to do, you want to pick up the phone. You actually want to pick up the phone and you want to call them. You don't want to spend too much time with them. You just want to say, hey, this is Tammy. I know you haven't heard from me in a while, but I have stumbled onto something exciting and I want to share with you all about it, right? So you're going to invite them onto a Zoom or a launch call or opportunity call. And you're just going to ask them, you know, do they have some free time to get on this call? And then guess what? 
You know, they're going to tell you yes. So then right before the call is about to happen or the Zoom, maybe, you know, 30 minutes before it's going to happen, you're going to send them a reminder and say, hey, the call is getting ready to happen. I'm going to send you the information so that you can jump on. I do not want you to miss this information. This is not a time to catch up or anything like this, because, of course, they're going to be asking you, what is it? What is it? I need to know. You're just going to keep them Mr. Smith. Like, just I just need you to get on here. I'm going to let the professionals, you know, handle this. And you're just going to get on and you're just going to listen. And then we're going to get back. OK, so after you do all that, after you invite them to that, you know, the next step is you want to get on social media. Social media is always the last step because we actually really want you to make a list of people that you actually know to get on this call. So once you, you know, do that and you do all those steps because you want to launch your business, you know, 24 to 48 hours while you are excited about it. So the next step is social media. You know, you want to get on social media. You want to post. You want to, you know, especially if you start using a product, you want to show people that you're excited about this and that you have found something you discovered and you actually love the products, right? So, you know, we're going to go more in depth into everything that you do, but this is just some few steps for you to get started. And guess what? We have a team Facebook group. We want to make sure that you get into the team Facebook group. We have welcome banners. We want to make sure that we welcome to you to the team. So listen, I'm going to make another video on more steps for you to do. But right now, this is all you have to do is get started. Remember, write down your goals, make your list. And make sure that you have logged into your back office so that you can see that nice, beautiful website that you have. So, all right, guys.